So today, I'll be mainly showing you how to save a bit of paint for a job later on to patch up. So what you need to do is get your original paint that you're going to be painting the rest of your job with. And then you need to find yourself an old jam jar, something like that. Ideally, it doesn't have to be strawberry jam, could have been a pickle, but I think this one was a lovely plum. So we'll put that to one side for the moment. There, now once you've opened up your paint, get yourself a nice little paint stirring stick like this. Now this is an old one of mine, I've been using this for many years, my old stick, and I do like getting it in a bit of paint and wiggling it around. And you want to wiggle this paint around so it's all nicely mixed up, because you don't want no scummy coat on there, or oil or water or anything else lying on top. Now once you're giving your paint a good old stir, you can see it's all, oh, that's, look at that, look at that lovely texture in there, that's lovely that is. That reminds me of old Roman True to Cow Pat in field number four a few years back. Now you got your jam jar, get that all open and ready and then you're ready for the next stage. Now very carefully you want to be pouring this paint into your jam jar just like this. Now once that's all full, just put the lid back on like that. Now most of these modern lids you need to tighten them up by turning it clockwise, right? So that's the same way that a clock goes round, so you can tell the time before them newfangled digital clocks came out. What you want to do next is get yourself a bit of masking tape and a pen, and you can write on that, and then stick it to the jam jar of what that paint's going to be used for, because in time you'll forget. Because what'll happen is you'll have loads of unmarked paint all up on your shelf, and you haven't got a blinking clue about which room it's all for. So use a bit of masking tape, a bit of time saved now, save you a lot of time in the future. Right, I've just written on there now what that's going to be used there for. There it is up on the shelf, ready to be used later, all nicely marked up. Right, now we've done that, we've got to look after the main pot of paint, so we can put the lid back on that, stop any dust and debris getting in. And while you're doing it, what you must do is give your paint stick a jolly good wipe, because you don't want that hanging around in the dust and uh, debris in the garage, and no one likes a dirty paint stick, so we're going to sort that out. There we are, that's all my paint stick all nice and clean so now. I hope you enjoyed that little video. That's all about how to save some paint for a later job, making sure you mark it up nicely so you can remember what it's for. And tomorrow, I'll be mainly showing you how to dig a hole.